This episode of AWU is brought to you by Movement Watches. Hey, this is Jeremy from Achievement Hunter, and welcome to AWU. From RTNY at Chelsea Piers, you're watching AWU! For the week of September 12th, 2016. I feel like I haven't been in AWU in a while. I'm not going to be in it next week either. No! Let's play live New York. That thing coming up? Yeah, it's sold out. You can't go. But what you can do is watch it through Fathom by going to fathomevents.com and buying tickets for Let's Play Live. Go get tickets now so you can watch it live. In the movies! Oh! Game releases this week. Hey, the first thing is a console release. The PlayStation 4 Slim comes out on the 15th. Your ride has arrived. Thank you. Games list Bioshock The Collection comes out, PS4, Xbox One, PC, Minecraft Story Mode Episode 8, Dead Rising pre-release, Dead Rising 2 pre-release, Dead Rising 2 off the record pre-release. Don't starve, to we're outside now and it's really bright, uh, NASCAR Heat Evolution, NHL 17, Pac-Man Championship Edition 2, uh, Perfect Woman, Pro Evolution Soccer 2017, Psychopaths, Mandatory Happiness, fuck it's bright out here, ReCore comes out, we've heard about that game before, gonna see that, Slain Back From Hell, The Witness, Adrift, Dragon Quest, Quest 7, NBA 2K17, Noi2 Love, Devolution, Unholy Heights, Mystery, Chronicle, One Way Heroics, Mech Q, Labyrinth of Death, Mountain Blade, Warband. And we're gonna go through PC as fast as possible. Here we go. Factory Engineer, Flow Match, Life is Pain, Path of War, Square, Square Fates, Don't Let Go, Floppy Heroes, Rhyme! <laughs> Oh, <laughs> Running God Sparrow, Abaddon 3, The Warborn, Boulder Dash, Conga, whatever. Docs Extreme, Escape the Past Event, Everspace, Fatal Theory, VR Ninja, Alpine, Lullaby, Divinity Originals into Kick 'em, Lost Crew, Not Knots, a Don Knots who done an adventure sorcery part four stars and shadows adventurous light vr uh catch canvas dino adventure fall of civilization loop something doomstar loot or die mom manga pinball adventure super jagua tank you and tennis elbow manager i had no idea that was coming i, I literally thought to myself as we were, i was like this parking lot's not this long <laughs> <laughs> the fake game. I think it's gonna be probably that Don Knotts. I think it's gonna be not Knotts, a Don Knotts who done an adventure. Hey, what do you know? That was good though. Michael, careful. The, the achievement this week is gonna be in, in, in the Bioshock remaster thing. It's in Bioshock Infinite. It's called Rope a Dope, and I only know that because my cousin in law made that achievement. There you go. You Get don't that really one. Know if it's still in the game. Sure it is. Why would they get rid of it? It's to hit a guy off the edge and then pull him back in and then let him fall again. Oh, that's just mean. There you go. Hey, the art of the week is from Vaas King. V-A-A-S King. Vaas King. It's uh, it's our Pixelmon characters. That's our little Pixelmon oh, guy. Yeah. My Tepig. Tepig! Gavin's so, little Squirtle. Check it out. What, is it a dot? Is it one pixel? Gavin's tiny Bulbasaur Squirtle. Bulbasaur or Voltor? I think, I think you're Bulbasaur and you're saying I will trade you you're for Voltor. There you go. All right. All right, community video of the week this week. Ah, it's things to do in Fallout 4. It is an Achievement Hunter mod by S. Dreadnought. Go check it out. He's actually got some, like, some custom Achievement Hunter stuff. He built an office and sh Oh my god. And, uh, he's gonna keep developing it. So go check out the video and, uh, and, uh, maybe get the mod for yourself. Go check it out. This Gavin's the dog, handy. right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, Andy's a, the a dog. A little secret in there, which we're gonna explain later. Oh, hey, look, look at that! The sign. We have that in our kitchen, Phoenix! Yep. <laughs> we do. <laughs> also, if you guys are animators or know anybody who is an animator, tune in next week. We have a little, uh, competition thing happening on the community channel. And, uh, just as a friendly reminder, there are animations there on the channel, and you can submit those at any time. See you next week! Uh, hey, so as far as news goes this week, hey, uh, so they just announced a new Titanfall card game. You know, every game has a card game now, so there's a game called Titanfall Frontline. It's coming out this fall. It's a card game style game like every other game ever existed. Also, hey, uh, for those of you who have the, uh, Samsung Galaxy Note 7, uh, don't put it near your face because it will explode and kill you. At least that's what, according to the uh, Consumer Product Safety Commission. So the CPSC has basically said stop using Galaxy Note 7s uh, because they've been exploding a lot. And like uh, multiple airlines have said don't bring them on our planes. They will not allow them to come on planes and stuff. So that's some uh, that's some bad news for Samsung there. Good luck, everyone who owns a Galaxy Note 7. Michael, do you have a Galaxy Note 7? No, but I did I just pre-order my iPhone 7. That's funny. Uh, that was my next.
next piece of news is that speaking of phones, iPhone 7 S or iPhone 7 Plus and iPhone 7 just got announced last week. Yeah. Michael, what's different about the new one? Oh, you know, two cameras, uh, got rid of that fucking clumsy headphone jack. Get out of here. I don't even need that thing anymore. Just get out of here. Way of the future. Those sweet, those sweet, what are they called? AirPods? Air, AirPods. Yeah, not AirBud. AirBud Air is a movie about a dog who plays hell. basketball. Yeah. That, yeah. They missed their chance for a tie in. Yeah, that would have been awesome. Alas. But anyway, so the iPhone 7 is actually coming out. Uh, pre orders are last Friday and it's coming out this Friday. That's the, that's a pretty quick turnaround. Usually it's like an iPhone and they announce it's like a month away. Woo! This was like two weeks. So congrats. Michael will have one. It's going to be nice. You got the plus. So you I got, got the, I'm plusing. He's plusing it Apple up. Apple black, not jet black. Apple, Apple black, not jet. The jet black actually gets scratched up a lot. Gavin, which one are you getting? Jet black. No, you're not. There you go. Hey! It's a perfectly good cup! Hey, video of the week this week is Let's Play Pixelmon, part one. Yeah, watch that. Watch us catch Pokemon. Gavin, your squirtle's so tiny. Yeah, yeah it's don't so take the piss. He's very suspiciously self tiny. He's very, very self Fuck him up, Matt. Dude, oh, I'm sorry, Gavin. Are they making fun kip? of your squirtle for its height? That's weird. Oh, did you see Gavin's Pokemon? Is that it? <laughs> is that it right there? What's wrong, Gavin? Oh, no, never mind. That's way, that's way too big. Everybody has that one favorite thing in his or her closet. In any situation, it's your first go-to option. Maybe it's shoes, maybe an awesome button-up for me. It's my movement watch. Uh, generally, I'm on the casual side. Movement looks great for that. But every now and then, you have to dress to impress without breaking the bank. And that's where movement comes in. Uh, now for this outfit, my Nintendo t-shirt and shorts. Uh, I'm wearing the uh, the black on black movement watch. Uh, I love it because it's not in your face big. Look at that. It's not overwhelming. It's simple with a classic design that really makes a difference in your overall look. Your movement watch is going to start about 95 bucks when you got all these other wristband options. You can like change out the wristbands. It's really nice. This watch looks like it costs like 400 to 500 bucks, but movement's business model keeps it at a perfect price point. Hey, Michael, how are you doing? Jack, is that a $500 watch? No, Michael, it's like a $95 watch. What? If you are as impressed as I am with this watch, then join the movement today. Uh, please go to movementwatches.com. That's mvmtwatches.com slash awu, and they'll give you 15% off your entire purchase. That's mvmtwatches.com slash awu. A-H-W-U. That's it for me. <laughs> Damn. See you next week. It hit my heart. All right, I won't be here next week, but we'll, someone will see you next week to probably tell you a couple of the games Would and stuff. Would you like a cup of hot? Ah! <laughs> I'm in the ruins of Tap Rom Temple in Angkor Wat, Cambodia, and you're watching Awu 334. I'm outside La Moneda, the presidential palace in Santiago, Chile, and you're watching Awu, number 334. 1,500 feet above Lake Wakatipu in Queenstown, New Zealand, this is Awu 334.